Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda. Today in this video we will discuss how to compute vapor liquid equilibrium data by using Rolle's law and Dalton's law. How to construct TXY diagram and how to construct equilibrium or distribution diagram or XY plot. So let's see an example. The vapor pressure of N heptane A and N octane B are given in the following table at 101.325 kPa pressure. Assume that Rolle's and Dalton's laws apply. Calculate the value of average relative volatility. Generate XY data and construct the plot of XY equilibrium distribution diagram. Also construct TX and TY plots. Data. Boiling point of N heptane A equals 371.4 Kelvin, 98.40 degrees Celsius. Boiling point of N octane B equals 125.6 degrees Celsius, 398.6 Kelvin. So in this example, we have given data of vapor pressures of N heptane R and N octane B at various temperature. And from this data, we have to compute vapor liquid equilibrium data. Then we can construct T, X, Y plot. Then using vapor pressures data, we can calculate alpha that is relative volatility at different temperature. From this, we get the relation between Y and X in terms of alpha. From that, we can calculate equilibrium data to construct X, Y plot or equilibrium data. Now let's solve the sum. So let the more volatile component is N heptane. X is equal to X, A be the mole fraction of n heptane in the liquid phase y is equal to y a be the mole fraction of n heptane in the vapor phase alpha is the relative volatility of n heptane with respect to n octane by using dalton's law and rolt's law we get an equation for the mole fraction of component a that heptane in liquid and vapor phase as x is equal to p minus p b 0 divided by p a 0 minus p b 0 and y is equal to PA0 into XA divided by P. And the relative volatility that is alpha is equal to PA0 divided by PBO. Where PA0 is the vapor pressure of N heptane. PB0 is the vapor pressure of N octane. P is the total pressure. So using this equation we get X and Y values at a specific temperature. As in the table, we have given data as at specific temperature. PA0 is the vapor pressure of heptane. PB0 is the vapor pressure of octane. So let's calculate XY values at a specific temperature. From the table, we get that at temperature 371.4 Kelvin. PA0 is 101.325 kPa. And PB0 is 44.496 kPa. And the total pressure that is P is equal to 101.325 kPa. So as we know the formula for X is P minus PB0 divided by PA0 minus PB0. After putting the values and solving it we get. X is equal to 1. Now let's calculate Y. So Y is equal to PA0 into XA divided by P. So after putting the values and solving it we get. Y is equal to 1. Now let's calculate alpha. As we know alpha is equal to PA0 divided by PB0. So after putting the values and solving it we get. Alpha is equal to 2.28. Similarly, let's find X, Y and alpha for temperature is equal to 378 Kelvin. At T is equal to 378 Kelvin. PA0 is equal to 125.323 kPa. PB0 is equal to 55.595 kPa. So after putting the values and solving it we get X is equal to 0 0.656 Similarly the value of Y calculated as Y is equal to 0 0.81 And alpha is equal to PA0 divided by PB0 So after putting the values and solving it we get Alpha is equal to 2.278 Similarly we can calculate X, Y and alpha for the remaining temperatures Which is shown in the table so this is vapor liquid equilibrium data. Now using this data we can construct TXY plot. For that on the X axis we take X and Y values. 
and on the y axis we can take the temperature now let's draw a curve using the point from the table so this is txy plot the liquid represented by any point on the lower curve is at its bubble point and hence the lower curve is called the saturated liquid curve or the bubble point temperature curve or t versus x plot and the condensation starts at any point on the upper curve and hence the upper curve is called as saturated vapor curve or the dew point temperature curve or t versus y plot now let's calculate the average value of alpha so after putting and solving it get alpha is equal to 2.16 then to generate x y data we should know empirical relation between x and y we know the relation between x and y in terms of relative volatility is y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x after putting the value of alpha we get equation as to generate x y data let's assume x is equal to 0 so we get the corresponding value of y is equal to 0 now let's assume x is equal to 0.1 so we get the corresponding value of y is equal to 0.19 So similarly for x is equal to 0.2, 0.3, 0.4 up to 1 we can calculate corresponding values of y. This values of x and y shown in the table. Using this xy data we can draw equilibrium curve. Now to draw equilibrium curve. On x axis x that is mole fraction of heptane in liquid phase is plotted. And on y axis y that is the mole fraction of heptane in the vapor phase is plotted. Now using xy data we can draw equilibrium curve and diagonal. So that's all about how to calculate vapor liquid equilibrium data using Rolle's law and Dalton's law. How to construct txy plot and how to calculate xy data from vapor pressure data and to plot it. So in the next video we will see another topic. If you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda